Hi guys, I'm Antonis Vizadinis and Ken and in uh, this lesson we will create uh, the second activity of uh, our application if you follow the previous lesson you have to you got to have this uh, code in your main activity and as you see here the activity display message is not uh, fix it yet so we have to create the second activity of our project we can uh, click here to create the new activity click on Android tab and then Android activity click next we will select a blank activity next and here in the details in the activity name we have to use the name of our activity which is display message so we delete this one in the layout name we will use the display message we will delete the activity okay in the title we can uh, write the title that we want, so let's uh, write my message our activity, it's not a launcher activity, so we don't have to check this uh, detail and uh, that's it, we leave uh, all the other sets as it is click uh, next, in this screen we will say the preview, optional review pending changes and the Android manifest XML and we click finish as, a, as you can see here we have the display message XML and the display message Java ready and uh, as you have to know if we make a new activity we have to create and the uh, activity in Android Manifest XML in Android Manifest XML the activity, the new activity is already created here display message so I think we are ok the error here in main activity Java let's see what's yes we forgot the S in here for display message, now we are ok we can save it and go back to display message uh, activity let's delete this for now so as you see here the, uh, our new activity display message extends uh, the activity super class activity and here we have the onCreate method, onCreate battle method and in the set content view we have the XML display message as it's uh, shown us here let's delete and the display message XML to continue now we have to make the code to receive the indent every activity is invoked uh, by an indent regardless of uh, how the user navigate there you can uh, get the indent that start uh, the your activity by calling the get intent and uh, retrieve the data contained with it in uh, the uh, display message on create method uh, we can get uh, the indent and extract the and extract the message delivery by the main activity so let's start uh, from here click enter and here we have to make an ident with a variable i and this will be equal to get intent control space and we are ready close with question mark click uh, hit enter and uh, now we want a string uh, variable let's say message 
and this one will be equal to our variable for intent get a string extra this one double click and for the name as you remember we have the main activity dot extra message as we set it in a previous lesson close with the question mark and we are ok so as you see here we create one variable intent variable we get the intent and the one string name it message and get the string extra for the main activity extra message as we set it in the main activity here is this one so now we have to create the text view so let's write a variable for the text view and this will be equal to a variable let's say again text view and this one is new text view new text view without parentheses open parentheses here and use the name the key this for this uh, class ok now we have to use the text view variable and set the uh, first we can set the uh, let's say the text size to 40 close the question mark and uh, we have to set the text the set text now the text that will uh, display and we will use the message ok question mark and in, uh, in this way you we can uh, set the text size and uh, set the text of the text view with the message that we get for the from the get string extra here from the dent we will change the send content view to the text view that we have enter and we're ok let's run it to see if it's working or not right click on my first application run as a droid application save the changes that we make and select the emulator click ok a program is uh, running now we can enter the message that we want here and click send to send the the message to the other activity let's write hello world click send and here is the the new activity our new activity with a message from the the other activity the hello world so thank you that uh, you are watching our my lesson bye